am in 4K, 30 frames per second, I believe. And image stabilization is on. I don't know how well it's working. So we're gonna take it outside. It's actually nice out. I probably should go skating or something. So all right, so this is what it would look like in a good daylight situation. And uh, I think I should cup it like this. Wind reduction is off. I'll probably turn that on and see what that sounds like here in a second. All right, I'm now shooting a 4K, 30 frames per second. Let me double check that. Yes, 30 frames per second. So with image stabilization on. So let's see how it's going to do with that. Get some colors here. Alright, looking good. Well, the trunk's looking good. So anyways, yeah, so this is the 30 frames a second on 4K. I'd like to get a lower bitrate actually and um, be able to use the image stabilization. Uh, so let's see if I can make that happen. I'm not sure the image stabilization was actually on. I'm going to have to go back and check that. I'm now at 1080p. 60 frames per second and hopefully figure some of this out so let's see what we're going to get here Take just some leaves or something. Just for a little bit of color. And uh, I think 1080 is as low as I can go and still get uh, image stabilization. And wind noise reduction, I think, is on at this point. I'm shooting at 4K. 30 frames per second. That's the only one I can seem to get the image stabilization to work on. Let's go out here into the sun. It was shooting at a very high quality, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be very impressed. All right, so I've been messing around with the V50 Elite. It stutters. I don't know if it's a card issue or what it is. Either way, I'm back on the Brave 4. I'm not overly stellarized with this after seeing how the picture can be better. I forgot how good a decent vlogging camera can be. So I am going to bounce right now down to the track and do some skating, and I will be back. Yes, you Remember how I said it looked good? Look at the bleachers in the middle of the track. Is there enough room for me to squeak by? Well, I can't get by the house. Oh my god, ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> Alright, I should have stayed in bed today. Uh, I don't think I can sneak by any of this, but I'll try, I guess. Maybe. I mean, I can squeak by here, but I'm not sure I can squeak by the ice shack. That's a hell of a place to put something. I just have to point that out. Oh, well, let's see what happens. I'm relatively new to rollerblading and um, thank you Dennis, you gotta be hooked on it big time, but I don't think I'm gonna get very far with it today, which means 
nor tomorrow. So I think I'll just take today off. Uh, I suppose I should get a walk in. So I have to deal with all this grass. Stuff like this. So I can't keep a good stride going anyways. And sadly enough, look at this hill. The downhill people of slobs. Uh, Jay is a class C high school and school district. And I think you can see why. Wow. Totally just wrong. They didn't even pick up the junk from the games. Napkins. Uh, so, anyways, I would smile, but I'm a little disappointed. So, I'm not happy every day. <laughs> Oh, I'll figure it out later, right now. I'm really frustrated with the other camera. I really thought that was going to be the fix from this one. But it doesn't look to be the situation. Oh, look. Somebody's ice shack. Why is there an ice shack here? I'm just curious. Anybody has an answer? Please, let me know. Ah. <sighs> grass yeah that's that's great <laughs> that's that's amazing I right? gotta love that <sighs> more grass bleaches in the middle of the thing all uh, right so I'm gonna do the best I can on a couple laps and probably call that good Okay, well, that was an absolute blast. Not really. Uh, so I'm gonna call it quits at about two miles. Um, my back's a little messed up and I kinda almost lost when I had to go into the grass to go around there. So I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead right now. And just call this one of those days. So, uh, what do you think though? Huh? Hey, it's really nice in the summer when nobody's around. The Acaso Brave 4, which is what I'm using right now, or the Acaso, what the hell was it, V50 Elite. Well, I'm going to tell you this much. The Elite, the V50 Elite, is already in a box and ready to be sent back. The picture quality was either too dark or is too washed out. You couldn't get it to go where you wanted to. It would glitch out. Um, you'd be filming. It looked, gr or, you know, you think you're filming. On the playback, all of a sudden it would freeze and back up. Freeze and back up. I tried three different memory cards, same problem. That's not going to work. So, budget cams. There's not a lot to pick from, guys. There's just not. Um... So I look back at some footage I had with the old Sony I had, uh, action cam. I love that thing. Um, I think this, other than the audio, almost keeps up. So, considering this is an $89 camera, and I could get the Sony again for, I mean it's a newer model, so I'm sure it's doing better, but a used one, same model, is 200 bucks. I don't know if I'm going to gain a lot, because by the time you put it through post-processing, you can kind of get it there. Again, I don't like that I can't shoot in MP4. This only shoots in .mov, which is more of an Apple thing. I'm not an Apple person. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried to use QuickTime? Ever? And get it to work properly? If you did, good luck. And, well, good luck with any of the Apple products. I'm full Android. So anyways, that is my thought is do not waste your time on the elite 
Do not buy the V50 Elite. Definitely uh, one of the worst cameras I've ever played with for an action cam. Even though it's budget, I get it. It's a budget cam. But so is this. And I think this is a real budget. So that's where we're going to keep this. That's where I stand. At this point, I would look at something like the 6. If you can't find the Brave 4, 4K, I would look into the 6. Looks like that one's doing pretty good. Real good, actually. Uh, but again, there's different versions. Or the 7, you know. But definitely stay away from the V50 Elite. Total junk. So what are my final thoughts? I'm sure this is going to look a little bit um, grainy as it's getting darker. But my final thoughts between the V50 Elite and the Brave 4K. Um, the Elite's already back of the box. But you guys have watched, you've seen the footage. See for yourself, see what I'm talking about. And using that footage was really hard. Um, now, this is before I process this. So hopefully I can get some of the videos to load into... Power director. I've tried a couple of them and they won't load. So they're corrupt. They skip. They jump. So I'll leave it there. You guys watched. You saw for yourself. But it's already in a box, ready to be shipped back. It's a horrible camera. Horrible. I, I would not recommend it to anybody. So there you go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Don't forget the bell. Okay. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.